tested. Now, if you look uh, and, and <laughs> you invest in cameras, you have not invested in the manpower, in the police force, first. Because the kind of, uh, I don't know, I have, I have had no access, I have not seen it talked about. For example, the manpower that is behind analysis of the raw intelligence that is picked from all these sources that they are, the, the electronic uh, sources that they are deploying. Because even if you have cameras, if you don't have a number of staff who are going to be looking at those cameras 24-7, doing analysis, making follow-ups, two, even when the human uh, uh, factor is dealt with in terms of numbers of the people that would be there, are they motivated? I, I've been seeing in the press, I don't know whether it's true or not true, where people have gone and said there's a crime here and there's no response from the police. They don't go checking. So if you don't do that, the last time I looked at, uh, at uh, CID, uh, the budget was around $2 billion. I don't know whether this year it was, uh, it was uh, raised. A criminal investigation department with $2 billion, I don't think that can even buy fuel for the CID stations all over this country. So how would you expect that if you don't get a criminal and a suspect who knows that the moment he or she commits a crime, that whether it is one month, whether it is six months, whether it is one year or two years, that they'll be caught, As they are they, they'll, be, they'll be prosecuted, and they'll be convicted. And therefore, it creates fear in others. Look at the budget. I just looked at some figures. Uh, ju the, judicial, the judiciary this year has 250, no, no, I mean 151.2 billion, the budget of the whole of uh, judiciary. Compare that with State House this year. 401 billion. Last year it was 274. The difference between the State House budget and the judiciary is 250 billion. So you can see where priorities are. That is before you look at, uh, is also what they call. Um, Presidential donation, President's office, donation budget. And that's not in two hundred billion. So where are the where are the priorities? Fighting crime or maintaining a person in power? Uh, has not there also been a problem of maybe men in uniform losing touch with the people? Because I can imagine the community, if the community was in, uh, involved and there's some kind of community policing, also people being vibrant, a vibrant citizenry that can work alongside the police and, and, and the security forces to give them intelligence so that they can work together. Maybe okay. that's what is missing. Okay. You arrest a suspect. You take him or her in the police cells. 48 hours they're supposed to be released. Well, even if they don't care, like they don't care about that, that, that law. Even if he's there one week, even if he's there two weeks, even if he's there one month, eventually, if you don't have uh, qualified, well-trained CID officers who are going to investigate and therefore be able to pass on a file which, is, which can be used for successful prosecution, this criminal will go back on the street. And that's what the biggest problem is. The judiciary required uh, money to, 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 ex to expand their staff. I think they required 100 more uh, uh, staff, you know, judges, magistrates, they didn't get that. They had, uh, <clears throat> of the 151 billion, 34 billion is for wages. 12 billion is in areas <laughs> that are not yet been fully paid. <laughs> but there's 200 billion for donations by the president. The priorities are upside down. This money is also uh, appropriated and allocated by parliament. Yeah, the majority of them are in the ruling party. Actually, I really doubt whether we have seen the worst yet.
Unfortunately. That's so scary. Thank you.